Free Adobe Photoshop, plastic eating worms, back to the future Pepsi, and a company you can pay to cancel your Comcast service. These are today's bits. Photoshop has long been a part of everyday language. It's most widely acceptable brand name that's used in conversation to convey alterations done to photos. People say things like, that looks photoshopped rather than, hey, this image looks like it's altered. This isn't surprising when you think about how common the usage of Photoshop is in almost anything you see. Learning the ins and outs of Photoshop isn't even a requirement either. In fact, only about 10% of Photoshop's abilities are actually being used by the average person. But because that 10% is in such high demand and Adobe wants to charge people almost $1,000 just to get the program, pirating Photoshop has almost become a normal thing. Now, I'm not saying that doing that is actually a good thing. I'm just saying that the average user doesn't want to fork out $1,000 to do some color corrections on pictures taken with their cell phone. Adobe has addressed this issue by offering a small monthly fee to the average user of only $10 a month for the Photoshop program. But now they're going a step further by releasing a new program called Photoshop Fix for free. Yes, you heard me right, absolutely free. Adobe plans on having those most commonly used tools or the 10% included with this free version of Photoshop. Things like adjusting exposure, warping, and cropping will all be part of it, which is perfect for all those mirror selfies of self-conscious people. Speaking of people, we sure do love plastic, and the only thing that we love more than plastic is throwing plastic away. This has been an ever-growing concern because it just keeps piling up and it never degrades. Well, now scientists have found some mealworms that can actually eat and survive off of plastic. These larvae of darkling beetles can actually digest certain types of styrofoam and polystyrene and give us a possible beacon of hope for solving our trash issues. It's not exactly perfect because half of what the worm poops out is actually carbon dioxide, but the other half is good enough to, to grow crops from. Not that we'd actually wanna grow crops in a landfill, but this is definitely cool to think about some kind of a solution to our issue. If you are a Back to the Future fan like myself, then you're probably gonna be happy to know that Pepsi is gonna release a Back to the Future style Pepsi bottle on October the 21st. They're only gonna be making around 6,500 bottles and they will be sold with collectible cases. If you want a chance to get one before this, you could always go to the next Comic-Con in New York on October 8th through the 11th, dressed as Marty McFly. Myself though, I will be ordering some online because reasons. Comcast is such a terrible company with such bad customer service that a new company has popped up that is willing to take on the challenge of canceling your Comcast service for only $5. Called Air Paper, they say that all they need is a few account details from you, a crispy $5 bill, and then they will call Comcast and put up a good fight for you in your absence. Thankfully, I don't have Comcast, but hey, if I did, this would sound like a pretty good option to avoid having to call them. A couple bonus stories for you today include AMD potentially losing some life-saving investment money from Silver Lake. Apparently, they have been in the talks to sell right around 25% of their company for enough cash to float them until the Zen release. Unfortunately, they were unable to come to an agreement on the strategy for AMD, and the talks were put on hold. They were put on hold, not completely stopped. AMD still needs money, and Silver Lake is still interested in giving it to them, but they will need to sit down and hash out a few details first. Also, for all you space geeks out there, NASA has just released over 8,000 moon landing photos to Flickr, proving that they can take more photos than a teenage girl in a bathroom. You can find a link to the Flickr account in the details below, but I should warn you that the internet is freaking out about one photo in particular. Apparently, in this photo that shows somebody waving at the camera, NASA forgot to Photoshop the reflection in the visor. If you zoom in, you can clearly see studio lights and people in the background. Yes, I'm kidding. Just Calm down. I just know that there's a group of people out there that are totally convinced that the moon landing was faked and that these pictures are probably gonna be studied until somebody's eyes start to bleed. If you think the moon landing was fake, then dislike this video. If you liked what you saw today, however, and you'd like to see more, make sure to smash the like and subscribe button below. Thanks for watching.